WENY's coverage of stories from Ukraine continues, and our crew spent another day in Ukraine's western city of Lviv. And while they were there, they noticed people and businesses dealing with power outages. And it's a dangerous sign as it's getting colder in Ukraine. WENY's Rachel Knapp joins us live from Lviv, Ukraine tonight. Rachel. Renata, when you flip your lights on at your home in the Twin Tiers area, you probably expect the lights to go on and stay on. However, for people here in Ukraine, keeping those lights on and power running is one of the biggest battles that they're facing. As we made our way through Lviv city center, we noticed many businesses were closed, but the handful that were open, like this cat cafe, diners had to deal with the darkness. Our clients come to, to this cat cafe, to our cat cafe, because uh, they want uh, relax. They want to relax. They don't want, you know, stressed out and it's dark. Andre is the bar manager. He says since Lviv is experiencing more Russian missile strikes recently, losing power has unfortunately become common. Now it's like usually eight hours per day. In the past couple of days, Russia has been launching a barrage of missiles on critical infrastructure, targeting Ukraine's power supply. For example, when electricity doesn't work, we don't have our broadband and we just like, nothing can connect that with their inner world. And I don't know how my parents and how my friends are. Russia's recent missile attacks also means they're using winter as a weapon. Ukrainians have been warned of expected blackouts and outages and urged to save as much electricity as possible. But in places like Lviv, where it's already below freezing, many are worried without power, they are also without heating. And unless you're one of the lucky few to have a generator, people in Lviv hope Russia's attempts to keep them in the dark and cold will fail. Understand that you have no idea when your life will be the same as it used to be before. It's a stress, first of all, and people are not used to that. Renata, when we've been in shops or even in our own hotel, sometimes the power uh, will go out. But, you know, we've been really lucky because it's been able to quickly get back on. And, you know, there are just millions of other uh, Ukrainians here in the country who are still dealing with massive power outages following those Russian missile strikes. Reporting live in Lviv, Ukraine, Rachel Knapp for WENY News. Renata.